Hello? Is anybody there? Holy sh**. What was that? There's a water bottle there, but... because we're going back to this place that was fairly active the last time that we went and it's been a while it's been a good minute I just got out of this horrible Houston traffic thank God and uh, I'm excited to uh, go revisit this place catch up see what's currently going on and investigating it and we're bringing you guys along with us so what are we waiting for come with us as we go check out explore and investigate the old haunted jailhouse in Cold Spring, Texas. Let's go check it out. Here we go. Before we get to Cold Spring, we got to drive through the haunted forest of doom. No, I, I'm kidding. Actually, it's just the, uh, the Sam Houston National Forest, and uh, it's a cool place. A lot of places to come out of here and camp, some trails to hike, fishing. It's a cool place to uh, visit. Maybe even see a uh, Bigfoot sighting or two. Oh my God, what's that? <laughs> just kidding. Hey, who knows? Maybe, maybe there are Bigfoot sightings out here. Who? You never know. Maybe one of these days we'll uh, we'll come back and see if we can do some Bigfoot hunt, some squatching. Anyway, here we go. About 55 miles north of Houston lies the charming town of Cold Spring, Texas, which is the county seat of San Jacinto County. The history is linked to Stephen F. Austin's first colony in Texas, and in 1848, there was initially a trading post called Coonskin, which then became Fireman's Hill, and then became the settlement of Cold Springs around 1850, and in 1894 was renamed to the current Cold Spring, one word. The original location of the town was built in a low-lying area known by the locals as the Gullies, since rainwater kept flowing downhill and washing away foundations. In 1915, a fire destroyed the courthouse and was rebuilt up the hill, but the old jail remained down in the gullies. And well, obviously this road isn't going downhill and not leading me to the jailhouse. Ugh, freaking Apple Maps. Now this is the road I remember. A spooky, tree-covered road which makes it dark and gloomy even during the day. Few cars seem to travel down and it just has a foreboding feel as you go downhill. Until eventually you'll pass an ominous building up on a small embankment, living up to the reputation of a haunted jailhouse just by its appearance. This is the building I remember. Let's go check it out, shall we? Guys, we are here at the uh, haunted Cold Spring, haunted jailhouse in Cold Spring with Mel. It's Hi. here, early bird, surprisingly. I'm with Rebecca and Rebecca's husband, Michael. He's back there, I see that, there he goes. Uh, we're just gonna do a quick walkthrough 
it's been god what almost eight years ten years while, since yeah. since we've been here so uh we're gonna do a walkthrough hear some of the stories and, and if you can give us some of the history too okay so we can share it with, the, with everybody but from what i remember there was like a a, a sheriff or something or other that mm -hmm. that had a he had was a known of, he had, had a bad yeah it was our our, our infamous uh sheriff humpy parker Okay. Yes, yeah. What was he known for? He just uh, actually the town people loved him. Okay. Um, he was really good to all the townspeople, but uh, his so a law deputies and order kind of guy. Right, but his yeah. deputies were the ones who were his henchmen basically, and uh -huh. they did all the bad things. Oh, wow. okay. Robberies. Uh, they were, there's a section of 59 uh, over in Shepherd, uh -huh. and that was uh, the book Terror on 59. That's what that was based on. That's what and I so remember. There's, okay. They would roam that little 12 mile stretch, and if you didn't have something wrong with your vehicle, they would bust your tail light on the way up to make it something wrong, and Ooh, wow. they would bring you up here, demand however much money to get out, and then give you a receipt that said something like uh, you were at a resale shop and you bought like dishes and dish towels and uh -huh. some antiques and things like that. And that was the receipt that you got for paying for your way oh, out of, ago was that? of the county, uh, the, the 70s. Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, when was it when was it built, the, uh, the jailhouse? The jail was built in 1887. It was used all the way up to 1980. 1980. So almost 100 years it, it made it. But it was in really bad condition. Oh, okay. uh, so they actually, the state shut it down as far as a, a being deemed fit to be a jail. Uh -huh. And uh, about 83 is when they turned it into a museum. Oh, has anybody died there? Is there any reports of uh, so we used to here? say that we didn't have any evidence that like the um trap door was ever used for I executions remember there's a trap door I or was anything like that. You about that but we have several articles now uh -huh. um they, they're not local paper they're actually one was like the galveston uh, item and and some other further away newspapers that have uh, articles about someone being hung here well, let's go inside let's go inside and, in. and, and uh, okay. point us out uh some of the places that you might think are hot spots or you get feelings and and i remember i remember the places where we experienced some yeah. stuff so that was and, uh, we, since we did have our haunted house just recently there uh -huh. are some things that are still hanging up we have a lot of the display cases that are covered still in, in plastic uh for protection yeah so but if you need to move something or want to see something feel free to move that stuff out of the way okay we yeah this is going to be <laughs> this is going to be yeah, spooky. That, that's so it should, should add just a little it's bit it's going to definitely uh, add <laughs> to the experience today so Oh yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, so that that's gonna, yeah, that's gonna be disturbed. That's what I remember. <laughs> I guess we'll start here. This is the receiving room. Uh -huh. So um, back then, this door would have actually worked. It's, it doesn't work now. So it's rusted shut, basically. Uh, they come in here. They would have come to this door right here, and that would have been shut, of course. And then that room would be the jailer's office. And oh, so okay. They would have been just come right here, booked, and then took right up the stairs wow. into the cells. Got How it. many cells are up there? Uh, let's see, there are, let's see, there's five cells. Uh, no, well, seven if you include the two that are kind of like our storage cells. They're, they, we always say that they were probably four um, patient, or inmates that had maybe some mental issues, but also that were going to be transferred to TDC, like out in Huntsville or whatever. So that was the transfer units. And we have the solitaire cell, the women's cell, and then the men's cell above us here. I can imagine the commotion here when it was a, a full cell on Saturday night with drunks and whoever else they had uh -huh. pulled over and, and taken in, you know, and, and so yeah, I imagine it was pretty loud. Uh, I remember here, um, the group that we collaborated with back then, we, they caught a voice or okay. it sounded like a whisper or something like that. Uh -huh. So uh, that's pretty cool. Watch it really quick while we, we keep exploring. As always, let us know what you think. Here you go. So uh, in this room, we actually we used to, I know, we used to call it the, the sheriff's room because we had a lot of the sheriff's old pictures in here. But since this, uh -huh. the setting sun comes through the window really, really well, so that's not good for photographs. So we actually had to move some out of here. And this was um, probably the old kitchen uh, uh -huh. back when it was an actual functioning jail. Uh, okay. And we'll go into these other rooms here, and that would have been where the jailer and his whole family would have lived here during the time that he worked here. Okay. So the wife would have made food for her family and the inmates as well. That's and so crazy. the kitchen was here. Well, this was probably where the old uh, pot belly stove was okay. right here. And that, because that's a chimney that goes up to the outside. Ah, so, okay. 
Jeez. Yes. <laughs> is, no, gonna be, at night, it's going to be pretty spooky. You, you need to come to Haunted Hill next year. Next year. Yeah, come and come I remember we were here that one time that y'all did it. Remember we did a meet and greet out there at the, yes, 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 the yes, gazebo? Yes. That was fun. Yeah. Um, and then this next room would have set up as a bedroom. That would okay. have been the bedroom for the, the jailer and his family as ah, well. Okay. Uh, you can't see. We have some dolls and things. And, uh, oh, this is a very comfortable yeah. homey feel here with <laughs> with these yeah it's with a, these zombies. <laughs> and like I said, it's, it's real you know close quarters here and stuff. And uh, so there was a story that uh, one of the jailers he had two sons and they were living here with him, of course. And uh, woke up in the middle of the night, daddy, daddy, it's haunted. There's a ghost. We hear a ghost. And so he's like, well, let me go see what's going on. And it just so happened that two inmates were climbing down the water pipe. Oh wow! To escape out so the sun prevented an so, escape. So the kids heard a noise, and so then you know they, they checked it out. Uh, but the the building, the bricks itself, were made with local clay and sand. So uh -huh. it was really easy to chip away at the bars. Oh wow! And things at top. So if they oh. had something sharp enough and enough time, they can. They, wow! Yeah. So that's what happened. So they called two guys who were trying to escape. Yeah, that is awesome. pretty cool. <laughs> I wrote, this right here was the office area. Okay. So this one is really <laughs> the only room that I've had this like weirdest, spookiest thing happen to uh -huh. me, I guess. You know, I've been here for 10 years. I yeah. used to be super scared of this place when I first started. Now I, I love it. I, I take care of it. I think everybody here knows that I take care of it. So yeah. uh, nothing bad happens. But I was here waiting for uh, the guy to um, check our fire extinguishers. Uh -huh. We get them checked every year. And so he called me on the way and said, no problem. So I'm waiting in this room so that I can see out both the windows when he dries up, I can see him. And uh, reading the little articles there, the door creaks open. I was like, oh man, I missed him here. You know, uh -huh. hey man, what's up? Nobody's there, doors open. Like it's kind of a misty, cold, like February day outside. And yeah. I was like, okay. So I just shut the door back and I was like, that was a little weird. You know, let me, let me just chill out for a second. And then so I, I was standing here and all of a sudden I had the smell of cigarette smoke. Uh -huh. Like somebody was standing right next to me having a conversation smoking a cigarette. And I was like, okay, that was a little weird because I'm smelling my clothes to make sure it's not on me. And yeah. I knew that the guy who did our fire extinguishers, I knew that he smoked. So I opened the door to make sure he wasn't out there and he wasn't out there. It was raining, you know, mm. so. Wow. So that was a little bit unexplainable, wow. but it just, it made me smile because like yeah. I said, this was more than likely the office area. So okay. It yeah. Yeah. Scare you either. No, yeah. no, so it was, you know, so it was one of the jailers here checking me out, smoking yeah. a cigarette, you know, whatever. So. Wow. Here, if you look up, that's where the trap door is. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. And when you go upstairs, there's a metal plate over it, and then uh, also the noose ring is up on the ceiling. So oh, okay, so you can still see it. Oh, that's really cool. But, so, so yeah, that's um, now just a few other weird things I've had happen here. There was uh -huh. uh, one evening I was waiting for a group to show up, and they were running a little late, and it was it, it, uh, you know, I wear glasses normally, and it's the twilight hour, the, uh -huh. the where it's uh, the low light hour, you know, it's yeah. really hard for me to see. So I was hanging out here, and I swear I kept seeing something running between this. Um, hickory tree out here and back by the restroom just you know back and forth every time I turned it would run one or the other you know and I was like I called the group I was like how far are you guys away they're like oh another 30 minutes I said cool I'm going home call me when you get there because I couldn't I, it was too creepy to hang out outside wow uh, so that's the only time I really ever have gotten like scared uh, so I, this area back here behind us like right where the, the new string is and the everything right back here. Uh -huh. It seems to be a lot of bacteria activity back there. Okay. And it's always where the groups have their camera maybe in that corner facing this way and they never catch it, but you get, get it on audio. Wow, okay. Uh, you know, so it just, and that's been several groups have caught something. Okay. Are they hearing voices or banging or what are they hearing? Uh, the last group, it was, it was a voice and it said, um, it said, can you help me? I'm wow. scared. Yeah, wow. that was, that's the clearest, like, actual sentences that I've ever heard come out of here. So wow. you don't usually get a whole sentence. No, and the group had a, it was a female voice, and the group had a female with them, but uh, they were downstairs talking, and so their cameras caught them and what they were doing, and they, she didn't say that. You know? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, solitaire unit here. Uh -huh. uh, this would have been the, the two cells I was talking about. Maybe you're more crazier inmates. Okay, that's right. I remember. That's right. Right, definitely. People yeah. Going to be transferred. Um, were put there. Uh, so yeah, that was. And we there are two individual, individual cells. Uh huh. Two individual cells, and then of course with this door, so those doors can be open, and they can come out and at least you know walk around that that area there. 
So we believe this part was probably the women's cells, just okay. because of how it's got these solid uh, pieces uh -huh. all the way around. So really, uh, no one else, you know, walking this way could see. Uh, maybe if they were showering or, or uh, anything like that. Okay. Uh, but you can't walk all the way around these cells. The other ones are, are not like that. There was an addition uh -huh. made to the jail in um, uh, 19, I think, 17. Okay. And so they did the, the part we're standing in now was the original. The part over here on this side above the receiving room was the add on. And then this was the, the men's cells. And uh, I'll show you how the shower. So that right there, that's the shower. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, you know, up until um, maybe even not even before too much, too many years before it became a museum, there was no glass in the windows. Uh -huh. So whatever it was outside, it was inside. This is East Texas; it gets hot. Yeah, I and, can uh, imagine. And sometimes it gets cold too. And yeah. so when you're standing here with water being poured on you from a bucket up above, basically, that's how you got shower. Jeez. And so you can imagine it was not very nice. Yeah. Well, I remember when we were up here. Um, we we did we also captured a voice yeah uh -huh. and we, we captured a voice and also when we were sitting there like a water bottle fell plastic water, bottle. Plastic water bottle fell like on the other side we heard sounds and, and shuffling but really i remember the voice too uh you guys watch it while we keep touring it and, and let us know if you think it was pretty cool you're gonna have to use headphone so uh here you go check it out Because if they heard stuff around here, I'm gonna have a feeling it has something to do probably with this, either this cell or just in this general area, so. Okay, hold on. Let's give this a shot. What's your name? I'm feeling a cold breeze right here. It's cold. <laughs> I'm getting cold. Where? Oh yeah, I gotta feel something. It wasn't like that just a minute ago. Can you please do that again? Are you glad that the activities ended tonight? Hello? Did you hear that? Yeah. That was a voice. Hello? Is anybody there? There's a water bottle there, but... What was that? I don't know. Hello? Hello? Somebody's 
just touch me on my back. Really? The schoolhouse. Yeah. What's the history of the schoolhouse? So the schoolhouse was uh, built in 1926. It was uh -huh. from the old Waverly area. Okay. Um, a, a Rosenwald school. I don't know if you ever heard that term before. It was uh, Rosenwald and, and Sears. They got together and they sold these little kits that you could buy for your rural com community to have their own okay. schoolhouse. And yeah. it was really, it was a prefab thing and you just kind of put it just together. Just put it together, letters, yeah. You know? yeah. And um, we're not sure if that is. We've been trying to get it certified or someone to tell us. We have lots of different opinions of why it is and why it isn't. Uh -huh. It's the biggest one that I've ever seen yeah. it is. It's two room. They have like um, a teacher's office area. I would call it like a coat room or whatever. And then a, a middle room that maybe would be like the school or the music room or something like that. Oh, okay. So it's the biggest one that I've ever seen. Um, everyone likes to go there. They always want to see how many kids are still hurt, left around over there. Any any experiences there? Uh, usually we get a little boy and a little girl. That okay, yeah, a little girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And though either one of them will talk to you. It's, it's different every time. <laughs> yeah. Some people said, I've never heard the girl, and some people said, I've never heard the boy. And I don't, oh, that's funny. Yeah. Either, so, That'd yeah. be cool. Mm -hmm. I remember uh, when there was a, a gentleman who didn't want to come in and investigate with us, so he stayed out there because he didn't want to be around the ghost. But then that swing, the, the swing, that bench he swing, there, yeah. started swinging out there, and he was just like, and he kind of freaked out. The last group that came through, one of their little, um, it wasn't, their their cameras were not affixed on there. He was actually putting up a, a, a trail cam uh -huh. somewhere on one of these trees or something, whatever. Okay. So you see it over his, his uh, shoulder, but you see a shadow go like that from behind him. Wow. But, but it's in, because the school, one of the uh, lights is on in the school room, so uh -huh. you see the shadow through oh, the window. Oh, it's from the schoolhouse. Yes. Oh, wow. Wow. He's over here, but you can see it yeah. coming back to him behind him. Wow. Yeah, so that, that's the first real anything I've seen from the schoolhouse. So that really anything got me kind of hyped up. Yeah. yeah oh, that's yeah. too cool. Well, I'm excited to start this investigation. What do you think, Mel? Really looking forward to it. Man, it's good to be back. It's Spooky. Been a long time. What's, what's even cooler is that uh, we got the place to ourselves Until we get, until the ghosts run us off. Yeah, Please. but before we start the investigation, you know what we do. What we always do. We're going to go grab something to eat. We're waiting maybe, on Rachel uh, and her husband. Something to drink, and we're waiting. we're going to have them meet us there, depending on where they're yeah, at. Yeah, and we're going to wait for our guests, our invites, to uh, meet us up. We're going to tell them to meet us there. So let's go into town and get something to eat, and then we're going to come back and get this investigation. Started. Let's do this thing. Let's do it. Thank you. Look who's here. Our guest, Rachel. And Ryan. Ryan. Yes, sir. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Let me debate on that one. I might get another one. It's really good. These are really good. Mm. Man, the margaritas were good, huh? Really good. Now it's time to go do this uh, investigation. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna. I think we're gonna pop some ghost cherries tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we're about to go. It's nice and dark. It's late, and uh, right we can get here. this investigation rolling. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Let's go do this and pop some ghost cherries. Let's go. All right. So we have a sensor here. This light will go off, just like you noticed, as soon as somebody walks by. We're all still downstairs, so. It doesn't count right now. And then we got the GoPro, a little small, little mini GoPro. That hopefully that will go off and I'll record it. Let me get out of the way. And then over here, we got a sensor, a motion sensor. Right there. And uh, when it goes off, we'll hear it on the receiver here. And yeah. we're gonna be upstairs and we're gonna leave it here on its own. So there is nobody else here, nobody. It's just us. Very, very controlled environment. 
All right, so here we go. We're gonna start upstairs. Hey, Gabe, how about if I put this rim pot over here in this uh, Osama awesome death hatch? I say keep it with us. Let's all get together so we're not, you know, confusing one sound for another that we can control. We stick. Yeah, we all stick together. And we found this, well, Ryan found this uh, newspaper in 1984. Yeah, that's Old a Museum. March 29th. Right there. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. Just the same. Really cool. Yeah. Damn. We're going to start off in the men's section. And since we had some interesting experiences here that you guys hopefully, hopefully already watched. Uh, and uh, see if we can experience the same stuff again. Or we can experience something. Yeah, someone's giving a shot. This is gonna be cool. Alright, so we got the, the sensor up and running. Ryan walked downstairs and it went off. So if you hear this, hello, welcome in a ding dong, then and it's not us. That. Hello, welcome. Hello. But Ryan's downstairs right now. So as soon as he comes up and we're I don't know. And we're all up here. If we're all up here, then uh, then it's gonna be you know kind of kind of freaky. So so here we go, you guys. Can I sit in here? We are locked and loaded. Nobody's in here with us. It's just us. We're all up here. Ryan's accounted for. Rachel's accounted for. <laughs> Melanie, Rodney, and me. Obviously, I'm holding the camera, but. <laughs> but it's just us, and that's it. So if y'all hear anything downstairs, we will go investigate. We'll go try to debunk it and see if one of these sensors goes off, then that's going to be crazy. But here we go. We're going to go dark. All right, here we are. The uh, San Jacinto County Jail. The Cold Spring Jail House Museum. I've been here before. A few times. We heard you last time, one of the times. If you're still here, can you please make contact with us? Let us know that you're here, make a sound, or say something. There's a water bottle sitting on the toilet if you're able to knock it over. I have to say, this is like one of the calmer places we've been in the whole building. Yeah, I mean, I'm right. not feeling, huh? I agree. Yeah, I mean, I'm not feeling anything like oppressive or on me or like we're even being watched or nothing. All right, well, let's move to wherever y'all feel like. Let's go to we'll the other side. Here. All right, so we're going to go to the, a different location. They think might be a little bit more active. It's kind of, it's kind of quiet over here. Surprisingly. All right, we're going to the uh, solitary confinement area. Is there anybody over here in solitary confinement that wants to get out? Is it? Okay. I keep getting the word rape over and over and over. Maybe somebody was convicted of it or? I think it was a female. Uh oh. It was a female? I'm getting female. See, it feels very chaotic to me. Like, not like chaos like in the room, but like maybe chaos in their head. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yes. So maybe they were crazy or unstable in some way, but it's there's just a lot of like chaos. Something just fell on me. What's that? Something fell on you? Something tapped me or fell. Oh. No? Yeah, I don't it know. It felt like something like a drop. 
Oh, really? Or the water dropped down on me. Mm -hmm. But, oh, you're, it, 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 no. I mean, you're not seeing it underneath the register. No. Well, do you have a wet spot, spot like on your sleeve or something? No, it's dry. Hmm. But something definitely came down like. Can you walk past one of the devices that we have up? It's all you have to do. They'll let us know that you're here. I heard that too. I heard, that, yeah. Yeah, I heard it too. It wasn't young. I thought it was on the wall. Agreed. Yeah. It was on the wall. Yeah. yeah. It was totally yeah. Bang. yeah. Do it again. We thank you. Yeah, for sure. Maybe you killed somebody and you were just passing through to another jail or another prison. Or maybe to your trial. I just heard a scream. Where is he? What's up? What's up? What happened? Ryan, can you see down at the end of that stairway? Just look. Just sit tight and look. Because you're going to say, I don't want to mess up anything. I know. I had to make sure because I saw something walk out the window light down the bottom part of the stairs. And I had that motion sensor. It's not going off. But I see this freaking dude like standing in the towards the bottom of those stairs. I don't see anything in the I think he's from downstairs. In the infrared. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I saw something. I had to, I didn't say anything because I just saw twice the block out the light, but I, I'm I thinking it might be so like very faint. When you but, told me, when you said that, Melanie, I had. Sorry, there was a freaking like shadow. Was a oh, really? Your yeah. light? Like it, it was down like towards, straight, towards the bottom, I could see like the top part. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it, it was that I saw it form up. Yeah. Huh. The same time like you it said was coming that, up. Yeah. Because yeah. I saw the so window down the bottom, not these two. The one down on the bottom. There's a light down there. Yeah. It got blocked out twice. I didn't say anything the first time. I didn't say anything the second time. Yeah. Thinking it might be something else. But I see a freaking shadow and just start popping up. Then the word shadow just popped in my head. I had to get my eyes to adjust to it, but, but it was just like an anger. It's going to be back over there. There's like a lot of pressure on my chest walking in there. Oh, really? In the bedroom? Yeah. Y'all want to go downstairs? For sure. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go check it out. Oh, you want to? Yeah. Let's go check it out. Oh, yeah. I see it. It's right there in the corner, so when it goes off, there it goes. <laughs> I'm gonna pause this. This will be down here. We'll be able to see the light go off. All right, so here we are in the uh, sheriff's sleeping quarters. Yes. I don't even feel like I have eyes on me this very minute. I'm gonna walk in here. No, he did. It doesn't feel like it at it all. It was heavier when we first came in here. Now it doesn't seem Yeah, because like I remember as soon as I got out in the hallway, I felt fine. Yeah, like, they're toying with us. Oh, it's a little different in here, though. Oh, see, I just said that. Like every, everywhere we go, it's, it, it seems like to be heavy, heavy running heavy. away. Yeah, like yes. one step ahead. Are you in here? Did you come in here? Did you just say, uh -huh? I didn't hear no, anything. I didn't, no. I didn't hear anything. I swear, I just I heard yeah. it. Uh -huh. I didn't hear it. Okay. Well, we'll listen back in the audio. Yeah, that's strange. Does that sound like I'm thinking, are you messing with me, man? No, I wouldn't. Yeah. Are you in here? Did you come in here? Are you in here? Did you come in here? Downstairs, because there was a light. Oh, no, that's interesting. Yeah. Taking a quick break. It was quiet. A lot of feelings, but feelings are not 
evidence. We had they're warning. valid. That's cool. You're feeling stuff, but I, you know what? I don't feel anything. Not yet. It's real quiet. We only had think what one possible knock possible, from inside, but possible knock. We, it didn't get repeated. So, so then we're gonna go investigate yeah. the uh, schoolhouse for a bit, and then we're gonna come back and maybe, maybe even split up and let the women. Go in the jailhouse alone. Oh yeah. While we either stay out here or go back to the uh, mm -hmm. schoolhouse, we'll figure it out. But I think the women need to come there alone. I think that I might, think change might change the dynamics. Yep. Might get some activity pick up. All right. So, all right. Here we go. We're going to the schoolhouse. Go. Let's go check it out. Okay. Here we are. The old schoolhouse. People have claimed to see a boy or a girl, a child. We're not here to do you any harm. We just want to say hello. What's up? What's up? I heard the pop. I thought that was you. No, it's over here. What I heard was behind us over here. No, I heard it over here with Ronnie. Right over here. Yeah. To my left. Yeah, I heard it over there with you. That's why I thought it was you. No, I'm sitting in the chair. We just want to say hello. We just want to say hello. We just want to say hello. I'm at behind the desk. This was on the other side. I mean, the... If you're finished with your work, yeah. tap on your desk and let us know. If you're ready to go outside and play, a little recess, tap on your desk and let us know. You can go outside. Hey, did you hear that? There's a little, there's a little tap. Right when you asked the two. Right when I asked. Because you weren't even through asking the question. Yeah. You can go outside. You can go outside. You can go outside. Can you stand up and read your paper to me? Yeah, it's those desks. That's the same spot. It's responding. Is it? It sounds like it's coming from the same spot, but I can't yeah. tell. Yeah. It's the same spot, where is it? And also up there. It sounds like it's over kind of where they were sitting on them, right? Yeah, yeah. Like over in that direction. So it could be like one of these just desks that we're settling, that we were sitting, they were sitting on. Yeah. Just kind of. Well, I'm not sitting at a desk. Yeah, but earlier. See? That, that was louder. That was really loud. Yeah. That was really close. That sounded like one of the desks. Yep. Earlier. 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 That's just strange. Got Mel, all. what do you think so far? We just got out of the schoolhouse. And we're going to head back to the jailhouse. What, what do you think so far? I think it's been quiet. But I think it's still kind of cool. Very quiet. Absolutely. Very cool. Fun, too. Here, here comes the rest of the fellers. The you crew. know what? So we, we heard some sounds, but man, it, it could be anything. Little creaking sounds. The whole there, There's been some personal experiences, but nothing solid. And it's getting colder out here. Yeah. It is getting cooler. Yeah, it's getting really cold. Nice and chilly. But what, what do you guys think? It's definitely clear out here. Ryan, yes. Rachel, so far, Where's what do you think? I'm not looking forward to oh, it. There it is. sitting in that room. Alone, the alone time. Oh, that's well, we'll see what happens, but yeah, we're going to take a quick break, and then we're going to go back to the jailhouse, but I think eventually we will do the split up. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll play it by ear. But let's go back to the jailhouse here in a bit and let's, see, let's go. see if things have changed. Yeah. Hey, here we go. <laughs>
Usually that's, I mean, there's, there's so much energy in here. I don't know why they're choosing not to interact with us. They are definitely watching us. And so that's very quiet. It's like, it's, it's overly quiet. Got the ghost box on the floor. The rim pod is up on the dresser. And it's me and Rachel in the bedroom of the jail. Would you like to communicate with us? That's their Halloween stuff. Mm -hmm. I I don't think they're in there. I think they're quiet tonight. Well. I know, right? <laughs> I'm saying that thing's annoying. I'm not going to listen to that for very long. Right. Not unless there's something coming through. Do you want to try a different spot? Not really. I'm just so bummed out that we didn't get any, any noises upstairs. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's creepy in here. But I mean, you know, they weren't hardened criminals. They were right. neighborhood thugs, you know. Right. I just heard me out. Mm-hmm. Did you hear it? Mm-hmm. What was it? I mean, that's what it kind of sounded like with me out. Rachel and Ryan, thank you guys. I want to come. We want to come again. Oh, you're yeah, coming. Sure. Thank you for joining us, man. Thank I hope y'all enjoyed. Us. Yeah, no more, no longer virgins. No, no, no longer Parker virgins. Yeah. 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 It was a quiet. <laughs> it was a quiet night, but man, it was it was fun. I'm glad y'all enjoyed it. Uh, yeah. All right, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good meeting you. Yeah, thank you. Y'all drive safe. Take care. You're fine. You're fine. Yeah. Well, my friends. Yeah, it's pretty dark. But uh, we decided to wrap up. Uh, Rodney decided to go through the building one last time before we left, but it was quiet. Overall, it was quiet, and we were tired. So we decided to wrap it up and call it a night. We left, and I completely forgot to shoot a wrap-up video. But what a wonderful experience. Thank you, Rebecca and her husband, Mike. Y'all gave us free reign of the whole place to ourselves. And we had a blast. We had an amazing time. Overall, it was relatively quiet. We're gonna go through the evidence, we're gonna review it, and we're gonna do things differently for some of you viewers who've seen some of our episodes. The epilogue is gonna be its own separate video. We're gonna break it down, we're gonna share our thoughts of the experiences that we had, our overall thoughts, and if we capture any evidence, we're gonna review it, we're gonna go through it. By the time y'all watch this, y'all gonna see what we captured. So during the epilogue, we're actually gonna review it and analyze it and break it down. But remember guys, you are fellow investigators with us. So whatever you hear or see, let us know. Comment it down below, let us know if we capture anything. But we do capture after this is edited and put out. Comment on it. Let us know what you think before we analyze it and break it down. In fact, analyze and break down our old footage from what we investigated here at the Cold Spring Jailhouse 10 years ago. But we were tired, uh, it, it, was, it was getting late and it got really chilly, but thank you again to Rebecca and her husband for allowing us the, uh, the privilege to 
investigate the place, the whole compound on our own. It was, it was awesome, great experience. I strongly recommend you guys going to visit. What an awesome step back in time. Uh, the town of Cold Spring, awesome. Had a good time, everybody's super friendly. But we will share all our thoughts, our final thoughts on the town, our overall thoughts on the town, and the experience and the investigation on our epilogue video. Hope you guys watch it and uh, share, like, subscribe, but definitely share because you're gonna be helping us help the places that we go to and that's our goal. That is our goal, is to increase awareness of the places that we go to and the history. We're doing our small part to preserve history. Anyway, thank you guys. We love you so much. We hope to see you at the epilogue and we also hope to see you on the next road trip. Peace. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. moves. Oh, right. Wait a minute. What's no, no, right, right. No, no, right. Where he moved. Right. Turn. Right. Turn. Okay. Yeah, yeah. When I came here. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, no. Yeah. He turned. Nobody moved it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>